Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, so yesterday I bought this colony of Dubia roaches. Uh, now normally we do buy a lot of roaches uh, to grow up, to increase and expand our, our breeding and our production, but we don't usually buy colonies. There are just a few companies that we buy from that we've been buying from for a while and we trust them and they have good quality. Um, but this one is a local one who actually got our info from a, a vendor at one of our at one of, at the reptile show. Um, but we worked out a deal. Uh, she sent me a little video, gave me a rough count of what she thought was in the colony, and we actually paid two hundred and twenty-five dollars for the colony. And I want to make a little video showing you the colony and to figure out if it was a good buy or not. Now, what I do on that is I will take the colony and I will get all the roaches out of it and we're going to run them through the bucket system, separating them by sizes. And then I'm going to add up how many of each size and how much it would be if I sold them at our prices uh, all the way across the board. So I'm going to figure out, was this a good colony or a bad colony? All right, here's the colony. It's in a tote a little smaller than the ones we use. And we're actually going to put it all back into this tote because they're not they were not produced here and i want to make sure that there are no like pest bugs in here they got a mango in there to eat looking pretty good um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to shake all these egg cartons down and run them through the bucket system and then uh i'm going to put them back in the tote i got them from and store them in a different location than our own uh, roaches, just so we could monitor it for a couple months and make sure that, like I said, that there's no pest insects in there. Um, sometimes uh, these colonies can get weevils, like grain mites and stuff like that, or any, any bugs that we're not familiar with, you just wanna make sure that everything is good and healthy. So we will keep these separate from our own roaches. Quite a bit in here. So I'm gonna add it all up and I'll let you know how we did. All right, I got the majority of the roaches out of the tote. Now I always put egg cartons down here to get whatever bugs are still left in the frass. See, there's just a couple on here. But they do like to hide and burrow, especially the younger ones. Nothing on there, but see them all down there. But with the majority of them already being in here, we will uh, get our count started. They are in the first step of the sorting process. I always use these pans instead of buckets when I pull the adults away from the nymphs. A uh, little more surface area than the buckets. A little more room for them to move about. I'll just give them a gentle shake. That way all the little ones go through. Now I do have their colony set back up with fresh food, fresh egg cartons, all new. And uh, let's give these a count and see what we have. All right, so for the adults, how I do it with my colonies, I, I used to, um, I used to actually do the ratio for one male and four females or one male to five females but instead of taking the time to hand count them all, what I do is I just take a look and if it looks like too many males, I will pull some out. Uh, I did take out a handful from this colony, but what I did was I hand counted about 40 adults and I did the math and then I weighed them all up and, and I go by averages. So we have an average of 343 adults in this colony. So I will have to do some calculations to figure pricing on that. Uh, I will use the uh, one to four ratio going off of our prices to determine how much 
uh, values in the adults we bought. And then here is what's left, plus the few that are still on the egg cartons in there. But we'll shake those down one more time before we uh, do the math. Oh yeah, look, there's a super worm beetle. Uh, some people use those as a uh, cleaner crew. People use uh, mealworm beetles like that one and superworm beetles, but we use uh, darkling beetles and uh, dermis deads. So, oh yeah, one more thing. When you're shaking down a colony, you're gonna wanna use a uh, N95 mask or a, uh, one of them gas masks with the filters. I normally do. Uh, being that this is a small colony, I wanted to shake it down really quick. I did not. And I don't know if you can tell, I'm having a really hard time breathing right now. Uh, I will have to use an inhaler when I'm done with it. Uh, I never had allergies to roaches for about the first four years I've, I've uh, bred them. Uh, but over the last 18 months or so, I've become really like allergic to them and my skin will break out uh, and I'll be, you know, get really itchy and I have a really hard time breathing if I don't use the mask or if I don't wear gloves. So yes, if you are breeding roaches, you are gonna wanna use protective gear when shaking down your colonies. Very important. Otherwise it is very difficult to breathe. All right, we got our final count. Now for the females and males, uh, like I said, there was 343 adults total. And uh, I did the math as if 80% of those were females, 20% being males. And that's the final count. Um, if you notice, there are two mediums and two small mediums. That's because we have uh, two different bucket sizes for each of them sizes. That way when we sell mediums, um, the sizes are a little more the same. Um, I don't sell, I have in between sizes, so I don't sell, uh, two of the sizes we sort, which are kind of like next in line for being mediums, uh, just something I hold back, uh, as I sort them so that you're not getting smaller than normal roaches. But, uh, yeah, we paid $225 and we got over $700 worth of roaches in this colony, so I think that was a pretty good buy. All right, just real fast before I end this video, uh, I do want to say, even though the total was 736 on that colony, that would be the price if I were to sell them all right now today. Um, fact is, I'm not going to. I'm going to keep that colony as its own colony for a while. Um, probably in a, in a month or so, I might incorporate that into my normal colonies. But as I mentioned, we're gonna keep them separate for now just to make sure they're all healthy and there's no issues or no pest insects involved. Um, also, there are still some roaches left in the bottom of that colony that I did not count because I haven't been able to pull them all out yet. So all said and done, it was a very good purchase on that colony. Um, I know a lot of times you'll find colonies for sale on Craigslist and a lot of people don't think it's worth it to buy a colony like that, but I tell you what, every time I've ever purchased a colony, it's it's always been above and beyond what I paid for them because you just, it never looks like enough, but once you separate and count them, they're actually worth quite a bit more. Um, one other thing, I did mention that the lady who sold me this colony, uh, she found me through a vendor at the reptile show, and I wanna show you who this vendor is because she is awesome. You ain't gonna see this, but I will uh, take a picture of this and I'll post it in here. Uh, Rachel from Pet Peds and Pods. Rachel is awesome. Her and Travis, they sell uh, isopods, springtails, everything for bioactive habitats. They're just really awesome people. Um, if you're into the bio stuff or if you need some bio bugs to, to start a, call, uh, to start a uh, natural bio habitat, um, you could find her at www.petpeedsandpods.com. Uh, they're also on Facebook. Um, but yeah, Rachel and Travis are just really awesome people. I appreciate you for sending uh, that lady my way with this roach colony. And uh, hey, I appreciate you and I'll see you guys all next time.